Hello and welcome to Mundane Monday, where we are carrying on with our Morrowind playthrough, which we kicked off yesterday during the marathon. A few things to state. First of all, I have found the egg mine. I went back to the Fighters Guild and looked at the dialogue options, and indeed I could ask for directions. I didn't realise that before, but I asked for directions. She was like, yeah, it is southwest of Balmora. Just follow a bridge, follow along a river. Can't miss it. So I'm here now. And the second, perhaps more exciting bit of news, is that I've got the game running in windowed mode, which I'm super excited about, because it means I can look at all my other recording stuff here and make sure that nothing's breaking, because that's what had me freaked out before doing that massive playthrough yesterday. There was all the stuff that I couldn't see, and for all I knew it had broken hours ago. And, uh, interesting thing, when I, um, cut the play session short, the computer did indeed sort of die. Um, I know we're supposed to be taking down egg poachers, but I guess I can poach some eggs myself. No one will care, probably. Um, but yeah, the whole thing crashed, and it is by the most salubrious luck in all of creation that I was able to save any of the footage at all. So hopefully that won't happen anymore. I mean, the fact that I could not get it running on windowed mode yesterday, and I could today with no problem, just makes me think that... This PC still has some waking up to do. See, the thing is, uh, this is not my PC. It is my wife's PC. And because she works so hard and travels so far for so long, this computer does not get turned on very often. And um, that is not a good thing for computers, uh, as far as I understand it. Keep them turned off. They, uh, they get cranky and old and upset. Um, so I think this one is just, you know... Work, it's stretching out its legs. It's trying to... Oh, hang on. Alright, these worms. I remember, the worms are aggressive. When they grow up, they chill out. But the babies are like, nah, nah, nah. I want to fight everything. So... I swear this is not how you use an axe. I'm just sort of shoving the axe forward with no technique. But you know what? It's working. It's working. Eventually... Oh my god, there's two worms. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Definitely gonna die now. Come on. Swing that axe a bit more. Hold it down. Oh, I actually landed a power attack. That's never actually worked for me before. So we'll put that axe away. Get some sweet loot. I won't bother disposing of corpses in caves because who doesn't like to go back through a cave and take stock of their progress by way of looking at bodies? So, so I'm looking for poachers. That's the thing. Now, I did meet two people outside who are taking a break. Maybe they are the poachers. I need to go outside and beat them up. I don't know. But we might as well just explore this cave. Funnily enough, I don't know how this um, footage is going to come through with me playing in windowed mode, but for me at the very least, everything looks a little bit better proportioned. The minimap is not quite so ridiculously mini anymore. And um, yeah, you know, things aren't because I'm playing on a smaller window, it looks a bit sharper, a bit crisper, because obviously this is an old game. It was not designed for the kind of massive monitor that my wife rocks. So, get through. Uh-oh! I didn't mean to attack you! Huh. Hmm. Oh, God. Could this be the end of the fairy panther-type queen? Oh, my God. It probably could. I can't move. I can't move. Oh, that is harsh. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, you... Ah. Run! Okay. Alright, over to ring. Let's do a bit of healing. Alright. Now let's, let's go deal with this mess we've made, shall we? Yeah, I'm on. Is, whoa. Is this thing fighting me as well? I cannot even tell. All right, power attack. Go. Power attack. Go. Looks like I'm better off doing power attacks, because even though they take longer to do, making a miss more costly, a hit is basically a free kill. Have I now aggroed that as well? Come on. Oh, uh, that's definitely going for me, isn't it? Okay, it's dead, though. Power attack. Okay. Ugh. 
And you, I apologise for all of this. I didn't even mean to murder you. Just wrong time, wrong place, I guess. Oh, what's that though? Bit of scrib jelly. We can take that. Let's take all of this. Alright. So we've probably done way more damage than these poachers ever could, and uh, most definitely on a wanted list ourselves now, but that's just the way things go, isn't it? So, yeah. So yeah, ideally, I wouldn't want to be doing this all on one screen. I would have multiple monitors with which to check all my recording what's its and then indeed play it full screen on a monitor, but we're not quite there yet. We're not quite there yet in life. And that was, um say about a third of the reason I stopped recording videos before anyway. First was just general anxiety and horribleness. Alright, chill out. Uh, second was um, I didn't enjoy recording things on my laptop because it made the laptop really hot, which not only made me paranoid that I was wrecking it, it just also felt uncomfortable to have the heat wafting up onto my arms and whatnot and my fingers. And, um, you know, the super loud fan that just bothered me. It was just not an ideal setup, and um, it wasn't making me happy. I wasn't happy with the videos I was producing that way. And um, my wife was very graciously like, oh, just use my PC from the very beginning. But I guess there was that last third reason is that I'm a huge perfectionist. And I was like, I might as well just hold out for the most perfect setup imaginable. But it has come to my attention that... She super misses my videos. She still watches my old videos on repeat, bless her. And uh, so does my family, it turns out. So, how can I leave my adoring public behind? I thought I would just... Who are you? Are you a poacher? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, you're probably a poacher, ain't you? Oh, you've poached your last egg. Because I'm using power attacks now. Alright, let's take the fight away from that poor... Innocent. Ugh. Because I don't want to aggro any more than I need to. I mean, you could help. Stupid. <laughs> Talk about yourself. Oh. But yeah, I thought, you know what? I have people who love me, people who love what I do. I should not wait for perfection before I carry on. But make no mistake, I will get to perfection. That sweet setup will come. And I'd say, maybe... Two years or so? No reason I have to do it all at once, though. I could just incrementally improve my videos over time until I am amazing. I think that's a good plan. Oh, wow. One hit kill. Nice. I was just about to quip that before I could think about any of that, I need to think about incrementally improving my Morrowind skills, but it looks like I already have. So that was one poacher down, I think? Um, or that was just a random... A random Dunmer who just didn't like me. But I think that's one poach down. We'll go look for the others. See what the journal says, in fact. Uh, yep, cool. See, even the journal has the directions in it now. Alright, this looks like number two. I'm not scared of you, though. Look at my health. I'm pretty good at this game now, it turns out. Oh. I was staggered, though. But my light armor skill is increasing. You're only making me stronger. Oh, come on, that should have been an execution kill. There we go. So what have you got? Swalquama egg. I'll take it. I'll take all ten of them. How do you know... Oh, I take it this is my encumbrance in this game? I don't know. Uh, oops. So what have I got? All right. That's that sorted. We'll grab these eggs, though. This is all going to come back to bite me when I'm, like, hideously over-encumbered, but then I can just get alchemy on the go, I assume. If alchemy is anything like it was in Oblivion, it's going to be overpowered as heck. Uh, in Skyrim, alchemy is still really strong, but they limited it to alchemical ingredients. In Oblivion, and then I'm just assuming in this game, you could literally just mix anything together to make all kinds of delicious consumables. Anyway, I killed two people and I did not see a quest update, so I'm going to check my journal. Also, this ring, I don't want to rely on it. I want to get an actual healing spell at some point. Yeah, it's, it's not acting like... It's not acting like I've, um... 
So, uh, Sevilo Athan and Danila Valas. Let's look at the corpses and see who of those I've taken out. Is that Danila? Yeah. Alright, I have taken them both out then. So I guess I just go home at any point. Because this is an old game that hasn't been dumbed down for new generations. So it's not going to tell me my quest is done. I'm just going to assume that it's done because I've killed them both. So just explore the rest of this mine. And um, yeah, then we'll head home. Hopefully get a lovely another quest on the go. Hopefully we'll sort of kick off the main quest because uh, the main quest at the minute is not very well defined. I mean, um, what do we have in Skyrim? Oh, dragons have returned. Obviously we need to deal with that. In Oblivion, oh, demons have returned. Obviously we need to deal, well, not returned, just there's more of them than usual. Oh, there we go. Now I'm over encumbered. Oh, there is a third person. Fantastic. But we're not dealing with that right now. What do I want to get rid of? What is the most useless thing I've got? Alright, shoes. Do not need shoes. How do I how do I drop shit in this game? Cool. So don't need that. What's this? Uh, that potion. I probably got yeah, I've got oh, that's gold. I was gonna say I've got 118 eggs, but no. Where are my eggs? Where's my eggs? Uh, I got. Mm. Where are my eggs? Oh, there they are. All right, I've got fifty-nine large eggs. They are indeed an alchemical ingredient. So um, I'll loot as much as I possibly can. All right, I think that that's it. I've got to go home now. So we'll go home. Get another quest. So yeah, what I was saying. Skyrim, dragons, oblivion, demons, all very obvious. Here it's just, uh, the Emperor wants you in his employ as some kind of secret dude. Please do random unrelated jobs until I think you're ready to do secret dude jobs. And it's like... Well, okay then. I guess I'm gonna be a... I, I, I don't even know what this blade thing is gonna entail. I mean... In Oblivion, the blades were dedicated to protecting the Emperor, and good job there, because he died in like the first half an hour of the game. Spoilers for Oblivion. Um, and in Skyrim, they were jerks, so who knows what I'm going to be doing here? I mean, I kind of know a tiny, tiny bit about the plot of this game. There's some kind of dude who's got some MacGuffins that are making him a bit dangerous. Uh, we need to... Um, fulfill some sort of prophecy or something. You know how these things go. But there's no real clear hook for that yet, which in a way I appreciate because, um, you know, these games are supposed to be all open-worldy and runny around and do whatever you want -y. And in Oblivion and Skyrim, I never really felt like I'd get away with that. I felt immensely pressured to save the world because, uh, the story really set it up as being this huge urgent thing, so I'm not gonna bash the game for letting me get into the swing of things slowly. Just noting that it's interesting. It's a huge difference from the other two. So, you are nice, friendly, non-hostile miners who don't want to murder me. I understand. Can you ask your question also, I am definitely turning the sound of the game down when making this video because, because of that bit of music specifically, basically. It is disproportionately loud compared to the other musics, so I watched a bit of my video back, um, you know, last night as I made it, and most of it seemed great. The sound quality seemed fine, you could hear me nice and clearly, you could hear the game but it wasn't overpowering, but then that bit of music came on and it was just like, alright, we're not going to hear what I have to say for about two minutes. Uh, where am I? I am lost. Anyway, so... Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to let the entire rest of the game suffer. Let the whole thing be just a bit quieter, just so that when that music comes in, it doesn't ruin us all. Oh, Queen's Lair again! Ha! Ah, how am I so bad at this? Okay, I've... This is no good. This is not a Sunday marathon. I do not have time to waste. I've got to go. Heavens to... Betsy's, so... Alright, I'm going to assume that up is good. 
We're in a mine. Just keep on going up. I've already forgotten the difference between E and space, stupid old games. I mean, why would you make E jump and space do things? No, no game in the history of the world has ever done that. Okay, so I'm up now. Surely I've got to find the entrance soon. I just need to never go down again. I say as I immediately go down again. But here we go. These stairs. I'm going up these stairs this time. That's going to solve everything. I need to figure out a way to get rid of those pop-ups. I know there's a way to do it, but we don't need to know in the middle of this Let's Play that Traveler's Tales is playing Quiplash. Alright. Please. Yes. The Great Out of Doors is here. Fantastic. So, I don't know. I'll see you at Balmora. Alright, welcome Jesus. back. Thank you, Ork. Welcome back. Sorry for that abrupt cut. I just sort of had a bit of an epiphany, you know? Just because this game doesn't let me fast travel doesn't mean you all need to suffer, so... Just thought we'd pop right back to the fight Guild and just get to the point. Well met. So, Fireface. The stats of those egg poachers is that I got both of them. Good. Here's your payment. 100 septims. And we've got some extra potions from a recent raid. Take these. Oh, God. I'm not going to be able to move after this. They'll come in handy. Just tell me when you're ready for more orders. Give me some orders. Um, wait, can I advance yet? Fighters Guild recognizes you, Fairy Panther Type Queen. You are now Fairy Panther Type Queen the Journeyman. Can I advance more? Your talents are noteworthy, but blah -de blah Alright, so we have a contract from the Caldera Mining Company to kill four Telvani agents responsible for trouble at the Caldera Mine. So, yeah, we're not fighters. We're just straight up assassins. Fine. Four Telvani agents are responsible for the thefts and disappearances at the Caldera Ebony Mines. Their names are Alinu Lalelelen, Sathasa Nerothren, Fofina Herothran, and Alvaleg. They're hiding in a cave in the hills north of the Caldera Mine. What? When the four agents are dead, report back to me. Take care, it's very likely that one of them is on the lookout posted outside the mines. The quickest way to Caldera is probably to have the guild guide at the Mages Guild transport you. But it is your choice. Alright, cool. So, we can get a teleport there. Um, oh, you see, Caldera is a town, I understand. Alright, that all looks good to me. I don't need any more info than that. I say, knowing already that I'll regret it. Oh, yeah. Just as I said, I'm going to be over encumbered. So, what should I get rid of? You know what? I believe... <coughs> I was going to say that rat meat isn't valuable, but then I saw... And I saw that it's an alchemical ingredient. This skooma pipe, I, uh... I'm not on the skooma, so that's fine. Alright. Basically, we need to find... What can I do for you, friend? How do you alchemize in this game? That's a good point. How do you... How do you do it? I don't know how alchemy happens in this game. I'm going to take a quick quick nap to get my health up. And then, I don't know, let's pop in the Mages Guild. They might know. They might know how alchemy happens. So, yep. Heal me. Save, save, save. There is no escape. I wasn't ready for this. What the hell? An attempt was made on my life as I tried to rest. I do not know who wishes me dead, but the attack should probably be reported to a guard. What? Right, assassin, assassin. What have you got? Some cool armor. Alright. Oh, and that looks expensive. Alright, as much as I'd love to pill for all of that... I need to go shopping first, but I'll remember that that body is in my bed. And uh, I'll go back to get that soon. <laughs> so yeah, report to a guard, go to a shop, learn how to alchemize, everything's going to be great. Guards! Guards! Where is that slave? You there. 
You say you've been attacked by assassins. From your description, it sounds like the work of the Dark Brotherhood. I'm not sure who you angered, but stay away from me. I suppose this should be officially reported, though. Speak to Appelsmatius in Ebenhart about this matter. Ebenhart. That sounds far away. Beyond measure, that sounds very far. Let's have a look. Don't even know where that is. That's, uh, game's not just gonna just not gonna tell me. Okay, that's fine. Well, here's hoping to being assassinated a bit less often than that. All right, let's see if there's even anything I can unload by way of sheer shopping. Greetings. Like, I feel like alchemy tables aren't a thing in this game. I think that's only Skyrim. I remember in Oblivion you needed like a mortar and pestle. And just having that as an item let you alchemize. Good hunting. Uh, no, I don't want to buy your famous Daedric weapons. I would like to sell. Um, well, it's your stuff. Okay. Can I sell anything here? Nope. No, I'm wearing all that. Um, you can have those. Ah. Oh. Let's go. Can you go any? Okay, cool. If I hold the mouse down, it gets a bit less ridiculous. Oh. All right, one, four, five. It is. That was the original price. There we go. Um. You tell me anything about Ebonheart? No. Alright, I got bit rid of barely anything there. Let's see if there's anything else, actually. Let's look at the misc. Can I get rid of... Uh, soul gem. I don't want to keep that. Uh. Hmm. If I only knew how to alchemize. But you know what? I don't. So I'm going to get rid of... Let's say 50 of these eggs. So I've got 10 big, 10 small. Go. What's my... Alright, there you go. Now I can carry a lot more stuff. Which actually means I can go see if, um... The stuff that Assassin had is any good for me. Do I know you? Yeah, I reported that... An Assassin tried to kill me mere minutes ago. You should definitely know who I am. How are we doing for time? Got a few more minutes. Okay. A few more minutes to figure out if we can do alchemy. And, um, if not, to teleport to this place. I can't wear boots. Oh, let's... How do I look at my own armor rating? Oh yeah, 37 over 8. Looks good. I will... I will... I will... I... <sighs> this game. This assassin picks such an awkward place to be. Alright. Give me it. Alright, cool. So the Greaves, they have 37. We're only wearing... Ah, I always have 12. Okay. Helm we can't wear. Pauldron, how are our pauldrons doing? 12, just as I thought, so let's go. Hey, this is doing... This is serving us really well, actually. Our armor's going up hugely. Just gonna assume that this is better, everything else has been. Okay, so hopefully me being decked out in all Dark Brotherhood gear isn't gonna get me like killed on sight or anything, because that was a juicy little upgrade. Oops, don't wanna be in here, sorry to intrude. So yeah, head up, go to Mage's Guild, see if alchemy exists, then get teleported, and that will be a wrap. We've had a good time today. I've certainly had a good time enjoying this new setup a lot well, more. It is stressing me out far less. Though I am noticing that my um my webcam for things keeps saying warning, high encoding. Everything is definitely going to explode. So I might have to look into changing the settings on that. No wonder everything sort of died when I turned it off after two hours yesterday. I am stressing this thing out. Coding. It's a thing I don't really get which I probably should get if I want to make videos every day. 
Uh, now, I don't want to join the Mage's Guild. I would like to be teleported, please. Oh, spells. Teach faction members only. All right. Uh, yes, you look like the sort we could use in the Mage's Guild. We take the Mage's Oath and join the Guild. What's the Mage's Oath? Perform any duties assigned to you by the Master of the Guild. Learn from them and grow strong. Always share your knowledge freely with other Guild members. Never strike or steal from another Guild member. Does this appeal to you? Yeah. They did not tell me a way I can make things up to them if I screw up, so I guess it, I can't. Yum. You are now a member of the Mage's Guild. Welcome, Associate. When you are ready, you can ask for duties to perform. And once you are ready, you can ask me about advancement in the Guild. Advance me. You meet our requirements, but you have not yet done anything. Okay. I don't have any duties. Speak with me again when you've proven yourself. Alright, speak to Ajira. Um, give me spells now. What's your rank? Nope, sorry. Ugh. This Mage's Guild is a fucking scam. Alright, but how do I teleport? Give me a secret. Wow. I actually got a secret. Somebody said, Larius Vario over at Fort Moonmoth is looking for you. How does everyone know who I am? And why is that a little secret? Someone should be very open with that about me. That sounds like it really is pertinent to me. Alright, you're not the person I'm looking for. Looking for someone called Ilililil. So, maybe they're downstairs. Though maybe that person could have teleported me. You should rest and meditate on what you've learned. Oh, that means that the next time I go to sleep, I'm going to level up. That's awesome. Because that's how it worked in this game in Oblivion. Uh, this place looks nice. Alright, cool. Hello, Outlander. Hello. I hope you won't take too much of my time. I'm already gone. Ah, a Jira. What brings you to a Jira? Yeah, give me some duties. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, yeah, Ajira has duties for you. Before Ajira can be a journeyman in the Mage's Guild, Ajira must study local mushrooms. To finish Ajira's report, Ajira needs samples of Luminous Rasula, Violet Coprinus, Bungler's Bane, and Hyperphasia. Ajira knows you can find all of these on the Bitter Coast. The easiest way is to go south along the river Odai until you see a wooden bridge across the river. Get out of the river there and find a path west over the hills. Okay, but can anyone teleport me? I guess not. Okay, I think it's about time to wrap this video up then. I am obviously going to have to spend a lot of time bungling around, figuring out how to do stuff. I think the next star juicy starting point for our video should be when I know how alchemy works. So... I see you. Hello. Hello. Uh, but not for you guys. Goodbye for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later.